we are expecting. We were really excited when we found out that we were expecting. Um, and I had been through like tons of pregnancy tests and I, I had, had been food. going through pregnancy tests. So whenever we got positive pregnancy tests, I took like three. I was like, oh, really? <laughs> I was so excited. Israel's gonna be a great big brother. He already, other little babies. And um, the only thing I think he'll have to work on is just learning that babies that are smaller than you, you have to be more gentle with. The past year has been particularly difficult for Jill Duggar as several troubles simply piled up on her one after the other. Firstly, she suffered from a devastating miscarriage and then shortly after delivering her third child, underwent a scary procedure. So practically just weeks after healing from her recent delivery, she was back in this recovery cycle. So what happened to Jill and why did she require yet another surgery only a few weeks after giving birth? Is she alright today and how is she doing? Well, watch this video through to the finish to find out all the answers to these questions. Jill Duggar is not a name that is unfamiliar in the media. One of the 19 Duggar children gained notoriety as a result of the reality television program 19 Kids and Counting, which aired on the cable network TLC until 2015 when it was abruptly restricted. The couple propagated the principles of God while having 19 children without using birth control and declaring it to be God's will. The show was cancelled owing to a variety of controversial reasons, but that didn't stop the Duggars from bringing attention to themselves through their social media channels. Even though many of them avoided the media, many of them began using social media platforms to keep their followers up to date on their lives on a regular basis, just like Jill Duggar. Jill practically launched her own YouTube channels and even utilized Instagram to keep fans up to date on what was going on in her life. Jill is currently the mother of three wonderful sons, but the couple disclosed in October 2021 that they had experienced a terrible miscarriage. We recently learned that we are expecting our third child, the couple said in a statement posted accompanying the video on their website. We were all overjoyed. It was delightful to see the boys' cheeks light up when you told them the news. As we discussed the pregnancy and how they would be involved both during the procedure and after the baby was delivered, they were eager and full of questions. But a few days later, the statement said, We started miscarrying. Our baby will not be able to live with us here on Earth, but he will live forever at the spring of the river of creation in the presence of the Lord, they said. And although our baby was only with us for a brief time, it brought us so much joy and satisfaction. So we decided to give her the middle name Bliss because she is in total bliss with the Almighty. Jill captioned the video on her Instagram page, We love and miss you, River Bliss. Though it was painful, God was quick to compensate them when the couple announced six months later that they were pregnant again. Jill gave birth to another baby boy in July 2022. The pair announced the arrival on their Instagram account, writing Freddie Frederick Michael Dillard is here. He was born on July 7th at 5.16pm, weighing 7 pounds, 6 ounces, and measuring 20 inches long. The couple was overjoyed and even went to great lengths to give their third kid a meaningful name. They named him Frederick and explained that Frederick means peaceful ruler. Furthermore, they added, the name has a deep connection to Derek's father. Frederick arrived a little early despite the fact that his due date was originally later in the month. However, both he and his mother are healthy, the new parents stated. They ended their caption by both Jill and Frederick are well and loving their relationship while we look forward to bringing him home from the hospital shortly. Despite the fact that the couple had just welcomed Frederick, their rainbow baby, and were in an extremely joyful state, God had other intentions, and their joy was short-lived. Basically, the Counting On star underwent yet another significant procedure just six weeks after giving birth to her adorable kid. She just experienced an unforeseen problem that might be related to her most recent pregnancy. Following a brief hiatus, Dillard posted a picture of herself on a recliner, draped in a blanket from the waist down, holding an empty cup of applesauce and a water bottle. She explained on her Instagram handle, I'm so thankful for good medical treatment 
and so many other little blessings along the way. Even if I wasn't thrilled about having to restart my healing time clock, assistance from family and friends, as well as the present relief and anticipation of never again having to struggle with the terrible gallbladder attack, disclosing some clear details about her attack. She then elaborated a little more on what exactly transpired and added, well, I almost made it without incident to my six-week postpartum well check, but this week's terrible pain finally forced me to have gallbladder surgery yesterday, she composed. Jill, who announced the news with a picture of herself relaxing and unwinding, said she might have experienced similar problems during her prior pregnancies, and that's why she continued to ignore a number of symptoms over time, which ultimately led to the surgery. Her followers were informed by the former Counting On star that she had been experiencing periodic bloating and nausea for some time. Although she couldn't identify the cause of the gut health issues, she wasn't overly concerned about them. After all, it had been a busy year. Her husband Derek had been sworn in as an attorney after passing the bar test. Soon later, Derek received a new job which required a relocation to a new area in June via their blog. The Dillard family welcomed their son Frederick Michael Dillard on July 7th. The weeks that followed were jam-packed with photographs of a happy mother and a cuddly baby. Who would have thought that this problem would befall them amongst all the joy? She even used her platform to raise awareness of gallbladder attacks, explaining the symptoms and advising others to get checked out right away if they were experiencing any unusual symptoms, even though at times they aren't as unusual as they actually are. If you're like me and sometimes have what you think are gut issues such as gas, cramps, nausea, etc., but are frustrated that you can't pinpoint the real cause, even if there hasn't been any pain associated with them yet, Jill advised, perhaps reconsider, or else, as my doctor put it, the storm may be brewing, but it hasn't yet hit or you haven't had a major gallbladder attack. She even listed a number of items including dairy products, fatty and fried foods, sugary foods, and even coffee that can occasionally cause such gallbladder issues. She also provided some information on these gallbladder crises, including the fact that women are two to four times more likely than males to experience gallbladder issues. She also revealed that pregnancy, fast weight gain or loss, hormone swings or treatment, those who have food allergies or sensitivities, a family history of gallbladder problems, etc., are some risk factors for gallbladder problems. Additionally, she urged her followers to eat enough healthy fats each day to assist their gallbladder contract and prevent stones from forming if they haven't already developed gallstones. As she shared her personal story, she was eager to stress that she's not giving medical advice, but rather something she learned from her own path of going through this difficult treatment. She basically closed her rant by asking people if they had any advice they could share with her because she had just had her gallbladder removed and was wondering what would be the most helpful throughout her recovery. Nonetheless, Jill is now healing amongst her loved ones, despite the fact that the previous year has been particularly difficult on both her physical and mental health. We hope she continues to be healthy from now on and enjoys every moment with her beloved sons and husband. That's it for today's video. Please comment down below with your predictions for Jill's future, especially in light of her recent terrifying stomach crisis. Like and share this video for more updates about the Duggar family, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Here on Top is you're always on top of the latest Hollywood celebrity gossip and drama. Subscribe to our channel and stay tuned for more videos and updates, and we'll see ya in the next video.